Hello, today I'm going to be um, picking a Christmas song because we're coming up to Christmas and using that song to show how the modes sound different uh, using that very simple song. And the song I've picked is uh, Jingle Bells and I've picked a key of randomly a B flat, a B. So it's going to be. Very, very simple, straightforward, one, four, five, it's a one, a four, and a five, and I'm playing bar chords here, so it's... Now, how do I know what chords to play? So what I've done is I've set B, which is going to be my one chord, in the Ionian window, here. Um, then I know it's four next, and then it's back to one, and then it's five. So my four chord, I just count that as one, two, three, four. So E major is my four chord, and one more is five. F sharp major is my five chord. So it's B major, E major, F sharp major, B major. So you have B major, E major, F sharp major, E major, and B major again. So that's my B, that's the major shape, that's my E. is in the Ionian mode or the normal major scale because B is in here and that's where we're starting. Okay so putting a melody on top of that then I'm going to use you can use any of the three locations here each one contains the minor pentatonic scale and each one contains every single note of the scale that you want to play in or mode. I'm going to pick location three um, because that's uh, just one that I, I prefer to play in, in the most. Um, but you can use any of these. And all I'm going to do is pick out the melody from the notes that are available to me here. So first of all, I'll just record a loop um, of that uh, of those chords. now so I'm going to find that first note in this group of notes here so maybe it's that one you can play along. So you can hear how you can pick out the melody um, for our normal sounding Jingle bells. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the B from the first window 
through the second window into the Dorian window and see how that changes everything. And the first thing, of course, is instead of being a B major, it's going to be a B minor. So there we are. So this is now our one window. B minor, and again, you just count 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's an E major, which is what we had before. So we've got B minor, E major, and the 5 is F sharp again, but F sharp minor. So how does that sound? So, B minor. <laughs> difference and that's like a Dorian sound. Um, we know that the, the B major has turned into a B minor, the E major stayed the same and the F sharp has gone into minor instead of, instead of a major. It's got that sort of strong Dorian uh, feel to it, quite different to the major scale. So now if I do the same thing and I'll record that okay and play that. I'm going to do the same thing again Let's go to location 3, and now it's changed to C sharp. And just look along here to, for C sharp, you can see that's on the ninth fret. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's exactly the same shape. Um, so now I need to find those notes. So, so if we're on a B minor... That's our start note. So you can hear the Dorian sound there. Um, you know, if you refer to the target notes and the root notes here you can make you can concentrate more on that so I'm looking at location three here now so I'm on C sharp that's the root note changed jingle bells from a lovely major sounding song into a beautiful Dorian sounding song using the same structure uh, and following the rules of the modes but without having to know the theory. Okay so next um, this is a tricky little one this is in Phrygian which is an Eastern or Spanish sounding mode so again, I'm going to put B in the Phrygian box. There we go, B. That's our one, two, three, four. Now our four is an E again, and it's an E minor. Our five is an F sharp again, but it's an F sharp half diminished. So that's our very strange sounding uh, version uh, with a half diminished so so the B is a B minor again 
same as the Dorian. And the E is an E minor this time instead of an E major. And then the F sharp. Whenever you have a half diminished, it's a it's a very unsettling sound because we're quite far away from our um, happy major sound here. Right, so let's let's record that one. Okay, and again I'm going to location 3, and now it's telling me B is in this window, and B is on the 7th fret, so exactly the same shape again on the 7th fret. So I need to find that first note again. Let me just put the Departed from the, the sort of structure of the tune to add in a Phrygian note here. So you see here the, the distance here between these two. Sorry, it's this one, these two. Makes it sound Egyptian, makes it sound Eastern. This is telling me it's exactly the same shape. Um, I'm making note of what notes it's telling me are the best, and it's telling me where to put that shape, and that's it. So, next, let's go to another mode which is going to contain the half diminished uh, for this, um, this song because it's the Lydian. So, let's put B in the Lydian. So we've got B is our one, B major, two, three, now F is our half diminished, not E. It's gone up half a step because E is not in the scale. You don't have to work it out, it just tells you. So that's our one, that's our two, uh, sorry, that's our four, and then that's our five. One, two, three, four, five. So F sharp, F. And B, B major, F half diminished, and F sharp major. So I'm going to play B down here because it's near these these Fs. Okay, so B, that's our B. So that's our half horrible half diminished sound. So it's very near to the Ionian or the major scale, it's got B major, F 
sharp major, but instead of it's got the half diminished. So it's anything that contains the half diminished is a horrible ish sounding uh, sound normally. Um, any any case, let me just record that. Okay. Same applies, and now we're in fret where the E strings on the B flat. Look along there again. B flat is on the sixth. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so. And you're going to also look at the Lydian sharp flat. Just that note that we could hear that was um, unusual and different sounding. And if you look on the diagram, you can see why that that is um, that is the characteristic note for Lydian there. Okay, moving on to Mixolydian B. Now in Mixolydian window, so that's our one. So it's B major is our one, two, three, four, E major, and our five, F sharp minor. Now, if you remember back to the um, Ionian, we had B major, E major, F sharp major. So the difference between the Mixolydian, that one note difference, has turned this F sharp from a major to a minor. Again, you don't have to work any of that out as, as traditionally. Uh, you have to. All you have to do is look and see um, what the chord is. So one, two, three, four, five. B major, E major, F sharp minor. So let's go again. So we've got B major. <laughs> So only one part of that sounds different to the major, uh, and Mexolydian is very, very similar to the major scale. So again, look at my location 3, and that's on A flat this time. You can actually see the locations incidentally um, in the minor boxes as well without turning over. So this is location 1, C sharp, F sharp is 2, and A flat 3. That's a little quick way of doing it. Um, so I'm in A flat here, so that's A flat. One, two, three, four. Actually, the same, but the backing 
is different. So that one manages to avoid. A Mixolydian note, he tells me here, is this one. that note so it just sounds like the uh, the Ionian for melody 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 Mixolydian. Jingle bells and Mixolydian. And now the next most popular, or possibly the most popular mode, is the Aeolian, the natural minor. Putting B in there. Now we have B minor as your one, two, three, four, E minor, five, F sharp again and minor. So now we've gone from B major, E major, F sharp major to B minor, E minor, F sharp minor. Sounding like this. <laughs> that one. And now we look on here and we find that our location 3 root note is on F sharp which is the second fret. So let's see if we can pick out the melody there. And unfortunately, I'm going to also have to do the Locrian, uh, which is a horrible sounding mode, as you probably already know. Uh, but let's just see what it sounds like. Um, here we go. B in the half diminished. There's our one, two, three, four, E minor, five, F major. So that's going to start off with... It's really awful chord. Um, it just hangs like that. So let's give that a go. So, looking at here, we see that's on E. Let's go to E. So that's either there, or as I'm going to do up here. And let's play that. 
Let's see if we can find it. Uh, I think that's probably about as far away from the normal jingle bells as you can get the, the seventh uh, mode Locrian device not using it at all um, so there we go that hopefully gives you a flavor of the different sounds of the modes and how you can transpose any song as long as you know um, the numbers of the chords um, from any one mode to another mode so if you've got a, say a song which is in in minor scale and you want it to sound um, slightly different maybe maybe you want to give it a bit of an eastern twist you could turn it into a phrygian or a dorian for that stronger sort of um, bluesier feel Hope you have fun and very Merry Christmas.